Let us solve the next part of this question 4 of this exercise 5.1 of chapter 5. And we have to check whether this sequence of number is an AP or not. If this is an AP, we have to find out the common difference D and we have to write three more terms if this is an AP. So let us check how to solve this question. To check whether this is an AP or not, we have to subtract first term from the second term and the second term is under root 8 and the first term is root 2. So, and we know that we can write 8 as 2 into 2 into 2 and here is root 2. So, we can write this 2 into 2 into 2 root as 2 root 2 2 and this is root 2 so after subtracting uh, root 2 from 2 root 2 we get root 2 so now we shall subtract second term from the third term and third term is root 18 and the second term is root 8 so now we can write this root 18 as 3 into 3 into 2 and this root 8 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2 Therefore, we can write it as 3 root 2 is 3 root 2 minus 2 root 2 and this is equals to root 2. Now, we shall subtract the third term from the fourth term and the fourth term is root 32 and the third term is root 18. Now, we can write this 32 as 4 root 2 and this root 18 we can write 3 root 2. So, we get root 2 again. So, what we observe? We observe that the difference between each two consecutive terms is same. Therefore, this is an AP and our common difference is root 2. Now, we can write out our, write down our fifth and fifth term and fifth term is equals to a plus 4d and a is root 2 plus 4 into common difference is root 2 so this is equals to 5 root 2 or we can write it as root 50 and our sixth term is equals to a plus 5d which is equals to root 2 plus 5 into root 2 and that is equals to 6 root 2 and this can be written as under root 72 and the seventh term is equals to a plus 60 and that is a root a plus 6 root 2 and that is equals to 7 root 2 and this can be written as root under 98. So our next three terms are root 50, root 70 to under root 98. This is our solution. Thank you.